Uh, rally. Blech. Hey guys, it's Sadie, and today I'm going to be talking about the Billboard Music Awards. Now, if you watched it, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you haven't, I will try to explain it the best that I can, but I've heard that I am not the best explainer. So, yes. First thing on my list is Taylor Swift's new music video for Bad Blood. And I had liked this song, it was one of the first songs that I chose to buy right when the album released. I had bought the song and I really liked it and then it turned out to be one of her singles and then boom, music video. I thought the music video was honestly a really great music video. Um, she had so many different people in it, Zendaya was in it. Um, a lot of people were in the music video, a few supermodels and it was actually, it was really cool, not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest Taylor fan, um, but the video was actually really cool. Next is Larry. Now, I am not the biggest Larry supporter. Like, I have a friend who is way more into Larry than I am. She has a Larry Twitter account. She just, she is really into Larry. So, I mean, we were texting about it the whole time, and they had originally been planned to be seated next to each other in the show, but I believe it was Liam who was put in between them, uh, and they, I think they were just all mixed up, and then we were all kind of upset about it, because this was the first time they were going to be sitting next to each other in, like, a long time. So we were all really excited for it. We were all ready and prepared for this Larry moment and it didn't happen. But when they presented, they were standing next to each other, but I missed it. I I had missed it. I was standing next to each other and my I was kind of upset about it because my friend was freaking out and I had missed it. Okay. Um, but then they got up and accepted their second award and I got that and I started jumping up and down and my mother was like, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, One Direction, Larry, you wouldn't understand. And I just sat back down. Um, but One Direction had won Best Tour and Best Group. Now, don't get me wrong, I love One Direction, but I really don't understand how they won Best Tour. Because literally, their tour consists of Harry spitting water all over people and uh, dancing around the stage. That is literally what their tour consists of. Now, Liam, when they were accepting their first award for best group or something like that, uh, Liam had shouted out Zane. Now, you could see on Harry, Louie, and Niall's face that they were not expecting it, and I saw so much things on Twitter and Instagram about it, dying laughing all night about just those pictures alone. Don't ask me why. Um, they just really entertained me. Next, I have John Legend's wife. Really did not like her as a presenter. Um, she was not my favorite presenter. Honestly, she was kind of annoying to me. I would not have chose her as a presenter, but whatever. She made a few comments and I was like, are you serious? Mm. Next, I have Harry Styles' outfit. Can we take a moment? I'm pretty sure his suit was like three thousand. Like his just his suit jacket was three thousand dollars. Okay. Next, I have Zendaya's outfit. Zendaya looks so good. Like I was sitting there, I was like, man, I can never pull off that outfit. But if I could, I'd be wearing that outfit all the time. That would be my go-to outfit for a big event. Next, I have two things that involve Ed Sheeran. First of all, his performance. It just reminded me of Jazz Fest and Jazz, because he performed it exactly like he did at Jazz Fest. So Jazz Fest just played in my mind all over again. I got chills. I was literally on the verge of tears because that's how much I love Ed Sheeran. So, Ed Sheeran, if you're watching this video, which I know you are not, but if you are, I love you. Next is Sam beating Ed. How many times has Sam beat Ed? I don't think he needs any more awards that consist of Ed being in the same category. Like, just give Ed a chance, man. Everyone loves Ed, and he's, oh, he doesn't want anything. Now, the highlights of my evening, when Harry grabbed Niles crotch. Highlight of my night. I didn't even notice it until I'd gone on Twitter during commercial break, and it was all over there. 
five seconds after something happens, you can find it on Instagram or Twitter. Um, so I had been scrolling through my Instagram feed and that had come up and I was like, hey, look at that. Highlight of my night truly was. It cracked me up. I don't know. I find weird stuff funny. See, if you were my friend, you would, you would know that. But you guys, you don't know that. So this commercial had come on a few times during the show, and I, every single time I watched it, I was getting a little freaked out. The new show, The Whispers, I think that's what it's called, The Whispers? Anyway, this new show looks creepy, and I have no intention of watching it. And this show looks really creepy, and I suggest you go check out the trailer. If they have it, I will have it in the link down below, but I, I'm sure they have it on YouTube, but they might not. Next, I have Britney Spears. Oh my god, she looks fabulous. She... Oof, I don't know. Yeah. I was like, what? When did this occur? When did this happen? You look great, girl. You do you. Next, I love, love, love Breakfast Club. And yesterday was the 30th anniversary of the movie. So they have brought out Molly Ringwald. Love her. She's in a few of my favorite old time movies like Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, and Pretty in Pink. Don't You Forget About Me is like the song for that movie. And they had come out there and they sang it and I was literally jamming along to it. Last thing, the show closed out with Kanye West's performance. Let's take a moment. I did not like his performance at all. Like, I mean, okay, sure. His performance was okay, but first of all, you could not hear half the song. They had to bleep out half the song. Like, what? You don't go out there and sing a song that the people who, the majority of the people who are watching the show can't even hear your words. And you couldn't even see the guy. Like, just smoke and you could, I was like, what? I, at one point, my friend thought the stage was caught on fire. I did. Seriously, I was just really confused about the whole situation with Kanye performing. Um, I did not think that he was necessary to end the show. I, I kind of wish they would have ended the show with someone else performing. But I guess they put Kanye at the end because he was the most like weighted person to see. So that's it for my description of the main points of the Billboard Music Awards. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and share. And also, put any video suggestions you may have in the down bar. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye!